Yeah. But uh, I don't know enough about my husband's folks, because none of them lived here except a sister. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> to know really, uh, his folks was like mine. They were too far away, yeah, you know, right, to. Right. Uh, to, for me to ever meet any of them. What's the date today is what, May 5th? What, yeah. Today's May 5th, isn't it? Uh, you know, my hearing's not the best in the world. Today is May 5th? Uh, yes, today's May 5th. And mm -hmm. this is Joe Todd, and I'm interviewing Mrs. Blanche Thede. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Thede, where were you born? Well, I was born in a little uh, town. It was just more of a, a, it was called Hagen, Virginia. It was just, I think, a grocery store and a, a blacksmith shop and a, <laughs> where they had to have those back in those days, you know. There was no automobile yet. And uh, a grocery store and probably a doctor, you know, just the bare necessities in a post office. Right. When's your birthday? It was, uh, yes, uh, this is the fifth, it was, it was the third. Oh, third of May. <laughs> and what year were you born? Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> 1895. <laughs> mm -hmm. Way back when. Way back when. <laughs> Who was your father? Who was Who was your father? Well, it was um, William Moles, M-O-L-E-S. Was he from Virginia? Mm, yes. All my relatives are from Virginia. Yeah. Who was your mother? Uh, Virginia Speaks. Her name is Speaks before she married my father. From Virginia also? Uh, yes, her name is Virginia. No, was she from Virginia? Oh, yes, yes, yes. How come your folks came to Oklahoma? Well, of course, I was too young to, uh, to, that didn't make any difference to me, you know. But my mother's uncle, who was a captain in the Civil War, came to this uh, town of Hennessy. And I think he was the influence of them coming here. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> what was his name? His name is uh, uh, William Powell. What's your first memory of Hennessy? What? Uh, What's your first memory of Hennessy? Well, I think I remember of getting off the train. We came here by train, of course. And it was in the middle of the night. And I think I remember my father having to investigate where my great uncle lived. And uh, from then on, I just seemed to remember. I remember the train ride, uh, parts of it, you know. And of course, it was the first time I'd ever been on a train. And um, <clears throat> how old were you? Well, I really, now uh, that's something I must have been between three and four years old, mm -hmm. probably closer to four, because I don't know for sure. I never did seem to. Uh, we think back and we should have asked some questions, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of work did your father do? Well, <clears throat> he worked in a nursery. Uh, there in Virginia. And uh, then when we came here, he was, um, he farmed a, a little while, but um, he got rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. in his, uh, oh, he was very young. And uh, then we had to, uh, we moved to town there in, in Hennessy and uh, he uh, had a, what they called an ice cream parlor back in those days. And uh, so that was it uh, so far as, um, but he, uh, 
he was uh, a guy that never gave up and he could get around on his crutches the biggest part of the time, you know. And Did your father homestead there? No, no. No, he wasn't one of the uh, the ones that made the run. That was later on, though, wasn't it? No. Let's see. Was that in the strip? Yeah, the, the strip. That was 93. That's what it was. Yeah. It that late? Yeah. I, I can't. I know uh, my history. Uh, I remember about it, but I couldn't remember <coughs> just what year that yeah. was. Did your father own the farm or did he lease it? No, no. He, he just rented. Yeah. And he wasn't, as I say, we hadn't settled too much, and um, uh, uh, as I say, I was too small to remember too much yeah. about the um, uh, children just take life as it comes, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what kind of house did you live in on the farm? Well, it was a, it was about a four room, and. Uh, uh, just about the average, you know. Was it, it a frame house? Uh huh. Yes. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't anything. Only just an average home, you know. But. Uh, Can you remember what kind of chores you did on the farm, as a little girl? No, I was uh, playing around. <laughs> I did. Uh, I do remember of, um, of uh, riding the horses. Uh, it's a wonder my younger sister, just a little younger than me, hadn't got killed because we we just out doing everything we could, you know, and climbing around in the trees and and uh, we'd play circus, you know, and <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I was when did you start the school? Well, uh, I think I was, um, I think I was about seven, and uh, that was, um, I started in the primary there in, in Hennessy. What was the name of the school? Uh, well, I don't know, it was just the only school that was there in mm -hmm. Hennessy. It had all the grades in it, you know because that is a small town and it's 20 miles south of Enid yeah. and about 40 miles north of Oklahoma City. Remember your teacher's name? Uh, it's, I think we called her Miss Mary as much as I can recall. What year did you move into town? Oh. What year did you move into Hennessy? Uh, well, now that I couldn't tell you, because as I say, I uh, I think I was just uh, close to seven, or maybe a little past that, because as I say, that's where I started school. Yeah. And uh, do you remember where you moved? Uh, oh yes, but um, there was no streets. Um, well, they might have been street names, but we never went by them because it was just, you knew everybody in town and mm -hmm. half the people in the country after you lived there. <laughs> and it was awfully good people. You know, back in those days, everybody helped everybody else, you know. Mm -hmm. You trusted everybody. We didn't have a lock on the door, I don't think. If it was, it was never locked. <laughs> it sure wasn't like this today. How large was the house in town? Well, we had about uh, about five rooms. Mm -hmm. Can you describe Hennessy as a child? What did the town look like? Well, it was um, uh, it had a good many stores there. It had uh, two or three grocery stores and two or three dry, dry goods stores. And a couple of uh, of um, oh, drug stores. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember the names of them? Well, Ailers was one of the uh, dry goods stores, and um, let me see, um, uh, 
Sowers is one of the drug stores, and Brinkler's, I believe, Brink, I think it was Brinkler's was the other drug store. And um, one of the grocery stores was, um, oh, there's a woman here with the same name. Um, well, I'll think of it maybe in a minute. You know, my memory isn't what it once was. <laughs> but thank, I've got a little, as I tell them, I have a few marbles left yet, yes. which I'm thankful for. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Statehood Day? I remember what? Statehood Day. Yes, I remember the, um, it was uh, 1907. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I remember many of those things that happened, you know. Well, were there, was there a big celebration in Hennessy on that day? I really don't remember that. I don't think there was, though. Mm -hmm. I don't recall it, that we had, uh, they always had a big celebration on the 4th of July, and... Um, was that the largest celebration in Hennessy? Well, I, I kind of think so. I, uh, they might have had a lot of other, uh, because I lived there till I was uh, married, and uh, I was married in 1916. Mm -hmm. Can you was, just, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, <clears throat> we were married, my husband and I was married 62 years. He just died about f close to four years ago. Yeah. And I, ca I moved to Tulsa then. Yeah. But I remember one terrible thing that happened uh, back in, um, I don't know when it must have been. Uh, they had a, a horrible train, a passenger train a wreck. I, it wasn't, it, the bridge gave way on the Cimarron River down by Dover, Oklahoma, which was um, I don't know, possibly 10 miles south of Hennessy. And uh, there was a good many people killed in that. And that always made a big impression on me. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't tell you just what year that was, but uh, it seemed to me like it was uh, uh, 1906 or 197 or eight or somewhere along in those years, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was quite a horrible thing. Is Hennessy on the Cimarron River? No, no. Hennessy's uh, uh, Dover. It's a smaller town than Hennessy. It's closer to that. They're neither one right on. Uh, I mean, Dover's not on it, but it's closer there. No, uh, there's no, there was no river close to Hennessy. There was a uh, Turkey Creek and uh, uh, there was a couple of creeks uh, not too far from uh, from there, you know. Do you know who founded the town of Hennessy? What? Do you know who founded the town of Hennessy? Yes, I think as near as I remember, they have a statue there of, of Pat Hennessy. And as near as I recall, he was tied to the wheel of a, tra of a, a boomer a wagon, you know that was the um, the covered wagons, and burned it at, the, at the, by the Indians, is what seemed to me like that I remember, mm -hmm. the story of it. And they have a statue of him out there in a little park, and uh, it. Uh, um, but I don't know when that happened. It yeah. was before my. Did day. it happen in that area? It happened there in in Hennessy. It was supposed to be, and that's what that town was named after yeah. him. What year did that happen? Do you know? I don't know. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. I just uh, back there when you're so young, you're not <coughs> interested in history or anything like that, you know. Right. <laughs> but I, we always had a lot of our celebrations and meetings out there in this little park, you know. And uh, his statue is there. Did you ever meet anyone that made the run of 93 into the strip? Was what? Did you know any people that made the run of 93 into the strip? Uh, well, I, I just, uh, no, no, I don't know. Uh, that's 
back before my memory, you know, back yeah. before our time. Mm -hmm. We hadn't moved there. We must have moved there uh, in Hennessy about uh, 1899, or I think around in there, it must yeah. have been. And you know, e either 98 or 99, now, I just don't know. I just, I'm sorry I never have yeah. caught up on all that. Do you remember when they paved the streets in Hennessy? Well, there was no pavement there when I was married, and that was 1916. Can you describe the streets when it rained? Oh, yes. We had lots of dust and lots of mud. <laughs> and, of course, uh, that was horse and buggy days until uh, the cars had begun to uh, show up a year or two, or maybe three, I don't remember that either, before. Uh, but I do remember the first automobile I ever seen. And uh, uh, it was, um, didn't have a top, and didn't have um, uh, no doors here on the, on the, on the where the seat is, you know, no doors there, you just step. And uh, it come through town making such a noise, and I was in the for, uh, primary then, and all the kids jumped up and run to the window. They didn't ask the teacher if they could. <laughs> we all run to the windows to see what the heck was going on, you know. <laughs> and um, then I don't know when I ever saw the next car. Uh, who, who, who owned the car? I don't know. It wasn't somebody there in town. It was somebody coming through there. That is, if it was, I don't remember, and I'm sure it didn't belong there. I would have seen it more than that one time. Can you tell me how you crossed the streets when it rained without getting muddy? Oh, you just got muddy and didn't think anything about it. You generally wore rubbers or <laughs> overshoes, you know, but... Uh, if it caught you out, you just had to take it, you know, there was no... We did have sidewalks on most of the, uh, uh, most of, in front of most of the homes, you know, but there was no pavement. And I don't know when they, uh, I don't know when they paved the streets because I'm, I'm sure there was no pavement when I was married. You say your father owned an ice cream parlor? Uh-huh. What was the name of it? Well, I don't know that it had a name. It probably did, but I, I don't recall. Of, uh, we just, uh, 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 sold that ty kind of stuff, you know, milkshakes and ice cream cones and, you know. Where uh, was it located? Well, it was there on, um, on Main Street, but, uh, now, did you make the ice cream, or was oh, it? Oh, no, no. It was brought down from Enid. Brought down from Enid? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who brought it to you? Do you remember the man's name? Mm hmm Do you remember the man's name who brought it to you? No. Mm -mm. It was sent down by train. Yeah. And, uh, no, they'd, uh, it's a regular, regular routine, you know. Did you work in the parlor? Oh, yes, yes. I worked there some. I didn't. What'd you do? Oh, I'd make milkshakes and dish up ice cream cones and anything that had to be done. What year was that? Well, uh, it went on there for several years, and uh, it was he was still there when I got married. Mm -hmm. But I. What were the cones made of, the ice cream cones? Huh? What were the ice cream cones made of? Oh, don't ask me that one. <laughs> <laughs> They're just what they are today, I'm most sure. Mm -hmm. You know what they are today. Mm -hmm. And How come your father opened an ice cream parlor? Well, I don't know. I think, uh, I think it was the uh, citizens of the town that kind of uh, helped him along to get started as near as I know, because uh, uh, he had to get into something that uh, that he could uh, stand to do, you know. But How long did he have the parlor? Well, it, 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 until he got to where he couldn't handle it anymore. 
and I don't know when that was. Uh, let me see. Uh, it was in the in the early twenties, I think. There, that it got to where my mother. I lost my mother, and uh, she had passed on, and and uh, so most of the family was married. And um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I had six sisters. And no brothers. Mm -hmm. There were seven of us girls. Did you do any work for the war effort in World War One? Uh, let me see. Nineteen seventeen, uh -huh. nineteen eighteen. No, no, I didn't do any. I didn't do anything to uh, uh, along the, that line, you know. Where'd you meet your husband? Well, I met him here in Tulsa. A family from uh, my hometown, and uh, they had um, two sets of twins, and one set was just the age of me and my younger sister, and we were all went to school together, and we were so close, and uh, they moved here to Tulsa, so I come over here to visit them, and, and uh, one summer I came over and uh, worked at Cress's uh, <clears throat> through the summer and stayed with them. And that's where I met my husband. When we, was the first? We met at, the, at Nobles Avenue Baptist Church, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who was pastor there? Well, uh, don't ask me because I was, didn't, wasn't living here then, and uh, I, I I just don't remember who yeah. the pastor was. When did you come to Tulsa for the very first time? Well, it was, um, it must have been, let me see now, uh, it must have been in 19... 14 or 15, and then I come back, uh, and as I told you, I worked through the summer at Cresses and stayed with this family that we thought so much of. What were your duties at Cresses? At Cresses? Yes. Oh, I was just behind the counter, <laughs> waiting on them. <laughs> oh, salesperson? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> What did the town of Tulsa look like the first time you came here? Well, it was certainly much smaller than today, of course. It, uh, now I don't remember so much about it, but those short visits, don't you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, after I got married, which was in 1916, I think it only went the business part mainly only went to, um, I think the First National Bank was on 2nd uh, and Main, and Vanderbilt's was between 1st uh, and 2nd, I think, on Main. And uh, the, It only went to about the tracks up there, you know, any business part, and uh, uh, it went down south to, I think, about Fifth Street, as near as I recall. And uh, the uh, business part, uh, oh, um, <coughs> north and south. Uh, east and west, let me see. Since I moved out here, my directions are all wrong. Uh, east and west, um, now they built the post office since I've been here, and they built the library since I've been here downtown. And uh, uh, I just, I think Boulder was about the farthest west that much business went, you know. And
and uh, east about the same distance. I can't remember so much about that part. But it's, um, it's an awful big change. <laughs> Tulsa has grown like a weed, you know. Was Sepulpa still a major community at that time? Sepulpa? Yes, ma'am. Well, I think so. I knew about it, and I don't know when I ever went over there because there was few automobiles, you know. It, everybody didn't own one then. We had streetcars here, and uh, Sand Springs Interurban, and... Uh, Where did that run to? It run to Sand Springs, from Tulsa to Sand Springs. Did it go east? Uh, I don't remember that it did. Now, I can't be too sure about it, but I think that just went from possibly downtown. It might have come on out, but I don't think so. How much did it cost to ride it? What was How much did it cost to ride the Interurban? Well, I don't remember. Possibly a dime. It, <laughs> the streetcars, I think, was a nickel, as near as I remember. And the, um, oh, um, Sand Springs Park, you know, was quite a popular place with a lake out there for people to swim. And the, uh, that was, uh, that was, um, what's his name? It's named after. Page? Uh huh. Was that Page? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Char Charles Page? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But that used to be quite a favorite spot for the summertime. People take their interurban out there to get away from the heat, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and um, go swimming out there in the or picnic or just anything to um, to something to do and. What was your husband's name? Henry. Henry Feedy? Mm-hmm. What kind of work did he do? Well, he did a variety of work. He was working for a gross, uh, sort of a wholesale grocer when we were married. And uh, uh, he and his boss run this place. They just sold groceries mainly to the uh, uh, eaten places down to, down in the main part of town. What was the name of the place? Uh, Peter's Grocery. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he died, his boss did, and then um, <coughs> uh, his wife didn't want to uh, keep the store, you know. So she sold it and um, and uh, then her her husband her um, they had one son and he was in Culver Military School and when he graduated uh, she had sold the store and uh, my husband went to work I think for the Kansas City Market. And um, where was that located? Well, that was on Boston. What kind of store was it? Well, it was about one of the best grocery stores in Tulsa. And uh, her son uh, uh, was, they wanted to send him to South America. And uh, she had a great big two story home down close to town on South Elwood. And she wanted my husband and I to uh, rent her home. And she had six bedrooms and rented to business men downtown, you know. And she wanted us to rent her home. And then we could rent our home. And uh, we'd pay her so much rent. And then we'd keep all the extra. So we kind of got a start from that, you know. Mm -hmm. So she was, they were down there three years. And... Um, In South I'm, America? Uh-huh. She and her son. Where'd they go? Well, let's see. Um, I used to know. I wrote plenty of letters down there. I don't, it don't come to me right now. 
Did they go with the Murray colony? How, what was it? Did they go with the Murray colony to no, South America? No, it was an a, a oil company that you went to send him down okay. there. It seemed like it was the Gulf, but I wouldn't swear to it now. Are you familiar with the Murray colony? No, no. What is that? That's uh, Governor William H. Murray took some oh, people from Oklahoma mm -hmm. to South America. No, that wasn't connected with that. Okay, that was in 2004, mm -hmm. I think. I remember Murray. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you remember about him? <laughs> well, I don't really, only what people said, you know. But he was quite a outspoken guy, as, as near as I recall, you know. And they always called him Bill Murray, you know. He was quite, a, quite an individual, I guess. You ever meet him? No, no, I never met him. But anyway, I made I made about six beds every morning, and kept that big home <laughs> presentable, you know. And uh, uh, then we, our daughter was about three years old at that time, so I really, <laughs> mm -hmm. I really, um, um, I didn't mind it though. I used to be able to do a lot of work and get away with it, you know. Do you remember if there were many flappers in Tulsa in the 20s? Any what? Flappers. Oh, yes, yes. What did they look like? The flapper days. Yes. Well, they had their dresses about up to here, you know. Above some the knee. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're well above the knee then. And they're, that's coming back, so I hear. The short, the short dresses are coming back. Mm -hmm. I always stayed a little bit below the knees. And <laughs> so you weren't a flapper then. <laughs> Where does that word come from? I don't know. I have no idea. But um, I've always been too much of an individual to, uh, uh, I kind of do what I want to do mm. and let the rest of the world go by. <laughs> mm. But uh, uh, then, you know, the, the women, began cutting their hair, you know, in World War I. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> everybody, everybody pretty near began wearing short hair, and it's been everybody but me. <laughs> <laughs> I had one haircut, and I didn't like it, and I let my hair grow out. And it's, mm -hmm. it's been long ever since, but. Uh, Did your husband go to the war? World no, War One. No, he would have been drafted in the next uh, draft if it had lasted, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. He was in line for the next. Uh, but I don't know why. Uh, well, you know they. I don't know how they did it, but you kind of 
come by numbers or something. Yeah. Well, did many boys around Hennessy go to the war? Well, yes, I'm sure. Now, of course, I wasn't living there then. I was living here. That's right. How about around here then, mm -hmm. around Tulsa? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know who was in charge of the Red Cross in Tulsa? No, I don't. I remember about the Red Cross, but I didn't do any work there or, uh, 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 uh get involved in anything. How long did your husband work for the Kansas City market? Oh, I don't know, really, to tell you the truth. He worked there a number of years. He worked there until, um, <clears throat> until the Depression hit. And um, then we, um, <coughs> his boss went broke. His boss um, had the, uh, fruit and vegetable department of that store. And, um, but my husband got another job right away with another grocery store. And uh, then beer came in, legal beer. And um, he had a brother in Columbus, Nebraska, who, uh, uh, knew a man up there that was going to open a brewery and he wanted um, <coughs> John, Henry's brother, he wanted him to um, take a territory to sell to the towns around and then this brother wanted us to move up there and he would take a territory too. So uh, we did. We were there for three years, but we lived at Lincoln. Mm -hmm. What year did you move to Nebraska? <laughs> Let me see. Um, it was in the 30s, but just to put the, uh, I think it was from about 36 or 37. That was during the Depression then? Mm -hmm. During the Depression. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like it. It was too cold up there for me. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we moved back here, and um, uh, we had a home here yet. Where it, was your home? It was at 7-Eleven South Frisco. Mm -hmm. There's a 10-story apartment house there now. <laughs> How did the Depression affect you and your family here in Tulsa? Well, it really didn't hurt us because we did have a home and uh, we had a little money. And um, uh, it, uh, as I say, my husband was never out of work. And, uh, but it was bad and of course he was working for about a third of what he used to make until we went to um, <coughs> to uh, Lincoln, you know, <coughs> and um, but uh, then the war <coughs> the war broke out, <coughs> and he worked out of Spartan for a good many years here in Tulsa, the Spartan, mm -hmm, yeah, aviation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any of the soup lines in Tulsa? Of the what? The soup lines? Well, no, I don't. Uh, if they were here, I didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> but I know you hear, you heard about them all over, you know. But I just, I just don't know anything about it. Were there many WPA projects around Tulsa? Yes, I think there was. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> now that was Roosevelt's uh, administration. Yes, ma'am. Yes, they, uh, he put a lot of people to work, you know. What kind of work did they do around Tulsa? Well, I don't know. I think they worked on the, uh, <clears throat> like the roads and uh, 
uh, uh, construction, you know, for uh, bridges and roads and I really don't know what all he did, but I do know that he put an awful lot of people to work. And to my way of thinking, it ought to be done today because it's better than feeding these people. And uh, uh, I think anybody would rather work for their money than they would to have it handed out to them. At least I know I would. But uh, uh, it was a dreadful time. But as I say, it didn't hurt us, but uh, it was just fortunate. We were just fortunate. To, but we worked hard all along, and I always looked to, to try to put a little bit away every time, you know, so that uh, when the rainy days hit, you won't be hurt so bad, you know. Were the grocery stores always well stocked in the Depression? Well, I think so. I don't think food was scarce that I can remember anything about. Mm -hmm. That uh, I think there was plenty of food. It's plenty of, I think, most everything. It's just a matter of having the money to buy it with mm -hmm. so many people, you know. You just didn't have. Who are some of the prominent people in Tulsa that you've known? Well, I don't know that I've known so many, only just by name, you know. But, and I've forgotten an awful lot of them. Is, um, the, uh, oh, uh, what refinery over there, uh, and some of the big homes down on the south part of town. I used to know who owned all of those, but I, I mean, I knew of them. I didn't know, uh, uh, except maybe meeting some in it through the church and, you know, groups, but to say personally, you know. Which church did you go to? Well, <coughs> we have, belong to three uh, three different churches. The Nobles Avenue was the first one, and then uh, the uh, oh, um, Emmanuel Baptist. And then, then we, uh, a friend of ours persuaded me to go to the Boston Avenue with her because my husband was working on Sunday and she'd go by and pick me up and I got started to Sunday school there. So then we joined the, the Boston Avenue Church and that's where I belong now. But uh, Were you there when they dedicated the church? Uh, yes, I was here, but I wasn't a member of them. But I remember when it was built. I remember when the, uh, the uh, Grace uh, Catholic Church was being built. That was quite a quite a thing. Mm -hmm. But now that's before I moved here. That was one on one of my visits over here that they were just building that. And you could see it from the train at quite a distance. You know, you could see the steeple. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful building. It is. What were you doing when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor? Well, let me see. Um, let me see, what year was that? 1941. Well, yes. Well, we were living... I was just... Uh, a homekeeper, that's all I've ever been since I've been married. I've never worked. And uh, we were living on on uh, South Denver then. And uh, I, I wasn't doing anything, only just keeping a home. Did you do any work for the war effort in the Second World War? No, I haven't done anything during the war times. Was there a large um, can you tell me what the people did to support the war effort in Tulsa? Well, I don't know that I could tell you for <clears throat> sure. There was, uh, I just never did uh, get into any of that. Mm -hmm. It seemed like I was always busy with other things, I thought I was, and... Uh, <coughs> 
You say your husband worked at Spartan. Mm -hmm. Was that during the war? Mm -hmm. What did he do with them? Well, he was uh, in a machine shop then, building these uh, planes, you know. And uh, how long did he work there? Well, he worked there till he retired, and uh, that was in the uh, in the late sixties there when he retired. Mm -hmm. He worked. Uh, he worked past the time that he could have retired. How many kids do you have? Just one. How many grandkids? Just one. <laughs> I have a daughter and a, and a grandson. They're in California, mm -hmm. as far away as they can get. <laughs> What's your favorite childhood memory? Oh, I don't know that I could tell you. I was quite a tomboy as a kid, I know that. <laughs> I was climbing around all over everything, it's a wonder I hadn't got killed. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of games did you play as a child? Oh, we played uh, hide and go seek and uh, and, uh, oh, I don't know that I could tell you all the games that kids played back there. Uh, oh, Farmer in the Dell and, um, and, um, well, I guess I have forgotten many of those childhood games. <coughs> Can you recount? the biggest storm in Hennessy that you remember? Oh, the, yes. The worst storm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what was that? Uh, we had a tornado. <laughs> and um, uh, it, it, uh, it was, I think, around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and this big black cloud in the northwest, uh, <clears throat> mainly in the west, come, you just see it. and. Um, it looked terrible, and we had a Premier one over there had a cellar, and um, <clears throat> uh, we we got into the cellar, but before they hit these tornadoes, it just sounded like a million freight trains roaring through the town. You know, it just an awful roar. It's frightening. But now it didn't hurt our part of town um, much on just around the house. It did break a lot of windows. We had a lot of hail with it, big hail. But it destroyed one home completely in the west part of town and did some damage over in that area. But it was quite a... What year was that? Well, uh, let me see now. I don't know that I could tell you. Uh, It must have been in 12 or 13, mm -hmm. 19, 12 or 13, or around in that area, or maybe 14. Yeah. Ever see any big floods in the Cimarron River? Well, um, that time the train, uh, you know, it flooded quite often. And then this creek, this Turkey Creek, which was, um, oh, a couple of miles probably, or I don't really remember. Uh, let me see. Um, west of town, it flooded. I remember one time, and uh, there were some homes built along, pretty fairly close, you know, out in the farm area there. That uh, that it uh, damaged them some. But uh, Hennessy, you know, is um, all of that is flat country and wheat country, and there's plenty of tornadoes every time. <laughs> That's the only one that ever hit, though, that uh, made any big destruction. But it's, um, it always, we always have lots of wind over there. Yeah. And uh, more so than here. We don't get the wind here that we had over there. Mm -hmm. How large was Tulsa when you first moved here? 
Well, as I tell you, I couldn't say. It seemed to me like it might have been homes, might have been built as far as 15th Street. And I may be wrong, but I think some of those big homes down in there, and it might have even gone to 18th Street, but I couldn't, I can't be sure about any of it because we didn't have a car at that time. And uh, however, our, uh, uh, my husband's boss had a car, and uh, my husband drove for him a good deal because he he didn't learn to drive, and uh, we got around a good deal with them. But uh, and I don't think the town was um, went any farther um, east than uh, than uh, Lewis and are farther west, and I don't know whether it even went to the river or not, but it wasn't spread out to. And north, though, now there was Reservoir Hill up there. There was homes up there, but uh, how What many? is Reservoir Hill? Uh, Reservoir Hill. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's up north on a hill up there, and uh, it's been so long since I've been up there that I don't know the streets. Uh, that, uh, uh, but you know, uh, there is more hills up in the north part of uh, of Tulsa, and but the, it wasn't built up to mm -hmm. not close, you know, all up in there. What is the largest flood you've seen on the Arkansas River? The largest what? Flood in the Arkansas River. Well, um, I can't remember. Um, it flooded from here to Sand Springs, and uh, it, uh, I don't remember how much out of the banks it got down, down there uh, by the river, nor whether West Tulsa was hurt too bad, but it was terribly bad between here and Sand Springs. It was a lot of uh, animals, you know, uh, drowned. And uh, it was uh, it was uh, really a, a, a big flood, and then uh, it would overflow. I think off and on a good deal, but that one year it was awfully bad. And then, of course, they put in the dam, and that stopped all of our flooding here. And, and down south uh, to. Uh, Close to the river, you know, it's awfully low down there. It hurt, hurt things down in there. But I don't remember what year that was, at all. Do you know who founded Tulsa? Huh? Do you know who founded the city of Tulsa? It seems like I ought to, but I don't. I don't seem to recall it. You know what the name of Tulsa means? No, I don't. Well, I think we have a good interview. <laughs> well, I, um, I used to have a wonderful memory, but um, I, um, I just don't, um, <coughs> it's just not that good anymore. Mm -hmm. But I'm thankful for what I have. Imagine you're about to burn up in here. I just smother everybody. No, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? You just got to look ahead. How come you don't look back? <laughs> well, you it, it'll make you sad, some of the good things you've been through in life, you know, and you just have to get a lot of forget a lot of that stuff. I could sit here and grieve myself to death over wishing and wanting my home back and my husband back, and I bet you don't dare do that. You just got to. Mm -hmm. It's better to forget. Right. And 
one day at a time, as the program says. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> but memories are nice. Huh? Memories are nice. Well, of course they're there, oh, but yeah. uh, if I would let myself dwell on them, I, I think I could. Uh, I don't like to. I don't like to begin to cry or feel, yeah. and I never feel sorry for myself. Or, right. Or cry if I can help it. Mm -hmm. Trouble with me, I get started crying. I can't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to call a doctor one time to shut me off. I couldn't. <laughs> oh.